Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel Logic Medico. Today's interesting topic is Carvoisier's Law. So what is this Carvoisier's Law? It states that a painless, palpable gall bladder suggests malignancy and not just a gallstone. Malignancy means a tumor. So let's understand this in detail. So here we have the liver. Under the liver we have liver will produce bile which passes through right and left hepatic duct which ultimately reaches the gall bladder through common hepatic duct. After right and left hepatic duct to common hepatic duct. Then in the gall bladder there is a temporary storage of the bile and the concentration of the bile. As and when we have a fatty rich meal which enters the duodenum, it triggers the release of an hormone, local hormone, CCKPZ, cholecystokinin, pancreozymin. This causes contraction of the gallbladder, releasing the concentrated bile. This bile first travels through cystic duct, then travels through this bile duct, then travels through common bile duct. Common bile duct is common for bile and pancreatic juice the pancreatic duct so therefore the other name of common bile duct is hepatopancreatic duct hepatopancreatic duct so this is the course of travel of the bile once the bile reaches the duodenum there is emulsification of the fat and which through which there is absorption of lipid droplets the complex lipid phospholipid there will be absorption after the process of emulsification this is how the fat is absorbed and that's why the bile is necessary so the most common condition affecting the gallbladder or the bile system bile duct system is the formation of the gallstone so whenever there is gallstone either in the gallbladder the neck of gallbladder or within the bile duct or the common bile duct this causes inflammation within the wall this inflammation is painful either the patient feels the pain in the right hypochondriac region or the patient has got a referred pain to the uh, right shoulder they will have a referred pain over the right shoulder that is because the diaphragm is supplied by phrenic nerve c3 c4 c5 and the supraclavicular region that is the shoulder region is also supplied by supraclavicular nerves which is also having the similar root value C3, C4, C5. This is called referred pain in case of gallstones. But uh, Ludwig Carvazier stated that if at all the patient has got gallstone, it will be painful jaundice. The stone will obstruct the bile duct system resulting in excess amount of bilirubin, the conjugated bilirubin to spill into the blood and this bilirubin will cause jaundice. When the, when the amount of bilirubin is more than 2 mg per deciliter, it will result in jaundice. But this is a painful jaundice, that is in case of gallstone. Imagine a patient does not have a gallstone, but the gallbladder became palpable. How is the gallbladder is becoming palpable? That means there is some obstruction without any inflammation. So, this obstruction can be kindly understand this obstruction can be in one of these following areas either there is a tumor in the pancreatic head periamphullary carcinoma of the head of the pancreas or there is a problem in the wall of the bile duct the wall of the bile duct only has got problem there is a stricture there is a narrowing there is an acute constriction hmm? Stricture of the bile duct, carcinoma of the gallbladder, cholangioma, tumor, tumor of the gallbladder wall, cholangioma resulting in obstruction. So this is where Carvazier law comes into play. A painless swelling of the gallbladder, palpable gallbladder, when the examiner palpates right from the right ilia fossa into the lumbar region, right lumbar region and then moves into the right hypochondriac, you can feel a balloon like swelling as and when the patient takes a deep breath that shows that the gallbladder is palpable and the person has got jaundice that is picturesque positive 
it has got yellowish discoloration of the sclera of the eye so ictrus is there and the painless the person does not have any pain whatsoever but the gall bladder is palpable painless palpable gall bladder is a sign of curvaceous law is suggest a tumor in the body where exactly is the tumor the tumor can be in the in the head of the pancreas periemphalary carcinoma the tumor can be there in the bile duct wall or there can be a stricture in the bile duct wall because of the tumor or there can be cholangioma within the gall bladder wall there can be cholangioma or cholangiocarcinoma so these are the possibilities in which curvaceous law is positive whenever curvaceous law is positive the doctor should be aware to do an ct scan and an mri to know the uh, the dimensions of the tumor the extent of the tumor and the spread of the tumor kindly you should not neglect these cases so diagnosing such cases though it's rare it's important so that you can save the life of the patient thank you for watching and learning from logic medico if you're new to the channel kindly consider subscribing and don't forget to press the thumbs up icon showing that you like this video and share this video with your other friends too and kindly press the thumbs up icon it makes the video reach other people thank you once again bye good day